In this video, I am going to show you how you can install or how you can set up WordPress on the Hestia CP or Hestia Control Panel. Welcome to SaaS Media Studio. On this channel, we create lessons relating to affiliate marketing, website development, cloud um, engineering. All you have to do is just hit the subscribe button if you are interested in any of the um, categories mentioned. And also give me some like if you really enjoyed this video. If you have any question or suggestion, leave it at the comment section. Let's get into it. All right. So first of all, we just have to log in into your Hestia control panel. Now, the first way to install or to set up WordPress on the Hestia control panel is to use the file manager or we can do a quick installation but first of all i am going to walk you through the file manager which is more kind of um technical as compared to doing a quick installation so first of all we need to create a website all right so you just have to click on the web those who don't know how to install hestia control panel on their vps server i've made a video on that i'll leave the link at the description go and check it out right so the first of all you need to add your web domain your website first okay you can see i already have one over here so you can just click on add web domain if you haven't added yours then you have to click on continue then you just have to enter your domain over here all right so let's say if this is my domain all right so that is my domain right yeah so you can see it is going to be connected to the ip address and that is this ip address all right so you just have to leave everything default and just click on save all right so as you can see domain uh, has been uh, created right okay so now since you have connected your domain you have to point the domain to this ip address you understand so yes you can go to your domain provider uh in my case my domain provider is hosting all right so this is the domain right so i'm going to find the um the a record that points to uh, the, the main domain so you can see the this a record point to this main domain all right but it is pointing to my hosting guest hosting plan but i want to point you to my vps ip address which is um um this one okay so i'm just going to edit this i'm going to just copy my ip address from here then I have to scroll down so i see this one okay the a record pointing to at which means that it is using the main domain and it is pointing to this ip address so i'm going to edit that then i'm going to replace the ip address with my vps ip address make sure there is at at the name section if you want the main domain to be connected to the uh, vps ip address okay you just have to click on update now with dns propagation it takes up to 48 hours before it fully propagates so if you connect now and it doesn't work you just have to give some time all right wait for like 48 hours um and everything is going to work fine now since i have connected my vps ip address to my domain i have to go back to the hestia control panel so now let's go back to uh, let's go back to the web now you can see i have two um uh, domains over here so you can see that under the ssl and the statistics you can see we have some disabled icon over here right so we have to solve those stuff so all we have to do is we have to just click on this pen over here to edit our domain so i'm going to click on that all right so now let's scroll down okay this is an alias all right so it is pointed to this ip address then now click on this okay and click on aw start okay so under the web statistics we are going to use aw starts to monitor our site uh visit our site uh, performances you understand make sure you turn on enable domain redirection okay so redirect visitors to uh uh or maybe to this okay in case the person visit www.smartvpro.com right then enable the sss certificate then when you enable sss certificate you just have to check the use let encrypt to obtain sss certificate basically what it means is that you are going to use this 
platform or this application to install SSL certificate on your domain okay so if you don't install it this the error you are going to see whenever you visit your website and that is very bad okay so let's go back and let's uh, check enable automatic HTTPS redirection so whenever someone visit our domain okay the person will be automatically redirected to a more secured um, domain or page you understand and make sure you also click on this as well right so now we are done just click on save all right so i had an error okay so the error means we have not installed the ssl certificate right so i will show you how you can do this so don't worry all you have to do is just scroll down then click on show certificate right then click on generate self signed ssl certificate all right so you'll be taken to a page to register so this is my domain okay i can add an alias as well which is let's say www.mydomain.com okay then the country you can choose any country that you want and the name um, let's say smart smarty whatever you can use any name and i'm going to click on generate now as you can see certificate has been generated successfully all right so this is how you can generate ssl certificate for your website right now the next thing we need to do is create a database okay so when you make a post on your website it has to be stored okay so we need a container that will store our data okay which is with our posts images videos and other stuff you understand so we are going to create a container which is a database container okay so i'm just going to click on the database or the db all right so i have one container over here i'm going to click on add database all right then i'm going to continue all right so the name of the database will be wordpress db okay so that's the name you can use any name that you want okay so i'm going to copy that and i'm going to use that as my user name as well so that's cool and i'm going to generate a password by clicking on this i'm going to copy my password to a very safe place paste it then i'm going to copy my username and i'm going to paste this that is also the database name right so we are good to go and i'm going to just click on um save over here all right so as you can see database has been created successfully right so we are good to go now let's go and download the wordpress application so just visit google and search download wordpress okay then enter or better so i'll leave the link of the wordpress website at the description okay so just click on the first page all right then click on download wordpress so i already have it on my pc so that's how you can download the wordpress um, application so now let's go back now just click on your file manager at this at the very top here all right so now you just have to click on the web then you can see we have two domain over here and this is the very domain that we added okay so that's smart with post i'm going to open that one and i'm going to open public underscore html because whatever content that we put at that section is what is going to reflect on our website okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to um uh, type smartvitepro.com and let's see what's what's there all right so as you can see this is what we have on our website right i'm going to show you something when i delete the index.html let's see what happened on our website now when i refresh you can see that we are getting an error okay which is access denied error so that is that is it so whatever we put here will appear here right so what we are going to do is we are going to upload our wordpress at this very place okay so i'm going to click on add files then i'm going to locate where my wordpress is and which is this one wordpress then i'm going to click on open so you can see it is um, uploading so you just have to give you some time wait for it to finish the upload then we continue All right, so as you can see, the WordPress has been uploaded. You just have to click on this check mark, close this, 
and you can see it over here make sure you just click on this dotted line over here okay and click on on zip then click on zip now we just have to refresh the page and you can see we have a folder okay now this is a problem we just have to move whatever is inside this wordpress folder or else we will be accessing the wordpress from a folder for instance this is the main domain when i refresh the page you can see that you are still getting the error but when i add slash wordpress we are going to see the wordpress that we added okay just refresh oh no i didn't spell it well okay wordpress okay then enter now you can see this is wordpress installation right you know we don't want that way we want to access the wordpress on our main domain you understand so what we're going to do is we are going to move whatever is inside this wordpress folder to the public underscore html so i'm just going to click to open and i'm going to click on this box to select everything and then i'm going to click on move then i'm going to just click on the web okay and the plus sign in front of the web the plus sign in front of my domain then i'm going to just uh click on the public underscore html all right and you can see everything has been moved so i just have to click on the public underscore html and you can see the content are here now let's visit our main domain and you will see the magic so i'm just going to delete everything and just press enter and you can see this is the magic so we are going to set it up i'm going to click on continue uh let's go and this is it okay so now it says we should connect our database to it so the database that we created so i am going to copy this is my database name i'm going to paste it here and i use the same name for my username so i'm going to paste it there as well then i am going to copy the password and i'm going to paste it here as well now leave everything default and click on submit now it says all right sparky we have made it through this part of the installation so now if you are ready we have to run the installation just click on run the installation and this is it so we need to give a name to our wordpress website so i can say maybe smartivate okay then the username will be let's use the same database name let's see let me go back or let's say the username should be smartivate okay uh then the password let me just type something let's say two three let me add at over here okay so it's it's cool copy and paste here confirm it's confirm use of uh weak password don't worry all right but if you are setting a password it is best you generate a good password so i'm using this for a test purpose so that's why i'm using a very weak password so make sure you use a very very hard password now after you are done you just have to click on install wordpress that it says um that is not a valid email address where should we add the email okay okay, okay this section sorry i didn't say it so we need to add an email address rather I didn't read all right so that's it so the first one is the name of your website the second one is the use your username and this is your password all right just check this if your password is weak but i won't advise you to use a weak password make sure you use a very strong password just to avoid yourself from being attacked right so i'm just going to click on install wordpress and as you can see wordpress has been installed thank you and enjoy all right so now we need to log in so this will be our username i'm going to copy it i'm going to click on login then i'm going to paste my username over here make sure there is no space then i'm going to enter my password which is admin at one two three so this is it admin at one two three right and i'm going to click on login and now this is it so we have been able to install our wordpress 
website okay on our hestia control panel right so this is the very first way you can install wordpress on your hestia control panel on a vps server now there is an, an another way but before that i'm going to delete every content okay inside this so i'm going to delete everything so that will destroy the wordpress installation right so back to our main domain let's make a refresh and you will see that the page does not exist okay so we have deleted everything i'm going to visit my main domain and you can see access denied all right so now just click on exit to control panel and let's move to the hestia control panel now the second way to install wordpress on your hestia control panel is to click on the edit domain in front of your domain now click on quick install app now you can see we have an um, applications over here okay let's locate wordpress okay so this is wordpress just click on setup all right so now let's give a name to the the website so we are going to give it smartvet okay then this will be our username or maybe we can change it okay so let's use admin okay just admin all right make sure you use a very strong password okay i'm going to add my email over here okay so now um let's use a very simple password because of this lesson you can use a strong password you have to use a very strong password or else you are going to get a lot of brute force attack right you can leave this default the language default the php version default okay then for the database host just leave it at local host then for the database name we have already created a database so we are going to use that data so i'm going to just copy the username here so database name database user and let's copy our password and let's paste it over here then we will have to just click on save all right so as you can see wordpress installed successfully so now just go back now let's visit our domain and refresh the page now you can see we have a default page right so for us to log in into our dashboard we just have to add wp dash login to our domain and press enter yeah it should be wp admin and they will redirect you to wp uh login you get it so i'm going to log in my username is admin and the password is admin at one two three let's see yes and click login all right so as you can see we have been able to install wordpress on our hestia control panel using our vps server all right so this is how you can install wordpress on your hestia control panel all right those who want to learn how to install the hestia control panel on their vps server i have a video on my youtube channel i'll leave the link at the description okay those who want to learn how to um add ssl certificate to their website um through hestia control panel i'll make a video on that so make sure you leave a comment at the comment section if you have any suggestion just leave it at the comment section make sure you like this video subscribe for more Let's meet in the next video.